I hope I am audible. So this is reading comprehension class. In reading comprehension class, we read uh, one comprehension passage and we'll try to solve the question. So today also we will again read one passage. But the thing is, it should be one interactive class where no one uh, joins, no one participates. So I will read this uh, passage and I don't know if you, you follow or not. So uh, if you don't follow, if you don't participate, it's no use of joining the class. No use of being here. Uh, anyway, I will start the class. If you can follow, please follow it. So I'm sharing my screen. Okay, this is uh, one comprehension passage. It's quite big. So in competitive exams, this type of passage only comes. It's one passage taken from IBPS exam. So you have time constraint in this type of exam. You have to read the whole passage, understand the concept, then you have to uh, read the question. But uh, for that, uh, we suggest that we you uh, first read the question so that you can understand. Suppose uh, here the first question is which of the following statement is true. So you can just uh, see in a blink that uh, what are the options. This uh, you can understand if you see at a glance that this uh, this is one statement regarding manufacturing. So when you will read the paragraph, read the passage, you have to find out where is the word manufacturing. Okay. Now uh, MCQ questions are there. How much had annual growth of manufacturing? Why the growth of demand? But then which of the following statement is true? Some private statement. Uh, you have to find it out. Then uh, GDP, policy package, these are the questions you have to mainly focus in the passage. Okay, let's start reading. As the Bharatiya Janata Party reportedly, uh, one more thing, like different student has different type of IQ level. So maybe one student can read it in five minutes and another student will read it in 10 minutes. Uh, but do not hurry so much because it has negative marking. So if you hurry so much, you will uh, get negative oh. marks there. I, know, I, know. Huh? I want to ask the uh, students who are talking, are you following? Hello? Who has raised hand? Karishma, Srabani, Mahalakshmi, Niharika. Very good. No response. Why do you join? I wonder. So as the Bharati Janta Party reportedly prepares for mod modifest to celebrate the completion of three years in power, the citizen would be interested in knowing how the government has performed in respect of the economy. So you can understand this is a political passage. So the Bharatiya Janta Party reportedly prepares for the for Modi Fest. Just a second. Why they prepare for Modi Fest? to celebrate the completion of three years in power.
the citizen would be interested uh, in knowing how their government has performed in respect of the economy. The citizens are very much interested to know that how the government has performed uh, in the economic field. So Bharatiya Janta Party means BJP uh, reportedly prepares for Modi Fest. Uh, why? Because they are celebrating their, their three years in the power and the citizens are very much interested to know what the party has done for their country in the in place of economy. So are you getting any new word here? So while you practice at home, you have to look at the new new word so that you, it, it will increase your Uh, vocabulary. So this is not Modi Fest, this is Modi, Modi Fest, which I understood just now uh, because Modi is the chief minister. So this is because is the election campaign in 2014, Narendra Modi has chosen to highlight his ability to turn the economy for better. This is because why uh, is the reason? In his election campaign in 2014, Narendra Modi has chosen to highlight his ability to turn the economic for the better. So notably to raise his growth rate. So he promised in the 2014 election campaign that he will raise the economic growth. Once he became prime minister, he quickly presented his idea of how this could be done. So after becoming the prime minister, he also uh, thought of some idea like how he should implement this economic strategy. So manufacturing was to be the key and make in India the government's program to actualize it. So uh, this was the main motto, like uh, you have to manufacture uh, the goods, the materials in India, like make in India program should be there. Press, pressing ahead to produce in India, can hardly be faulted as an objective for in a market economy income generation depends upon making something. So pressing ahead to produce in India can hardly be faulted as an objective for in a market economy income generation depends upon making something. So what, uh, what do you want to mean? So for like uh, next generation depends upon making something in India. So it will affect our economy greatly. So if like, India becomes a manufacturer of something, then it will obviously help uh, the generation, the economy. Indian agriculture is overcrowded. With shrinking farm size, the returns to its activity is said to shrink and only manufacturing can absorb the
India agriculture is overcrowded because there are so many agricultural farms there. So shrinking farm size and the returns to its activity is set to shrink and only manufacturing can absorb the labor that will help have to be transferred out of agriculture. So only manufacturing can absorb the labor uh, that will have to be transferred out of agriculture. So also manufacturers are often easier to export than the services that India specializes in. So manufacturers uh, are often easier also to export than the services that India specializes in. So make in India is eminent, eminently sensible of itself, but how successful has this initiative been? So uh, this is the first paragraph what we understand that Bharti Janta Party has uh, like, again, it's in, in its power for three years. So they, that's why they want to celebrate the Modi phase because Narendra Modi is the prime minister and they decide and uh, like promised in 2014 campaign that uh, they, uh, he will increase the economic uh, power. That's why people also want to see how much uh, economic development he has made in one year, like uh, in three years. So uh, what Modi government thinks that if we start manufacturing in India, then only we can develop this uh, economic growth. Uh, India and agriculture is overcrowded. So with shrinking farm size and returns to its activity, it's said to shrink and not only manufacturing can absorb, also manufacturers are often easier to ex export than the service that India specializes in. So make in India is eminently sensible of itself, but how successful has this initiative been? Let's see. So here we have only got a uh, few important words like uh, Exaggerated, exaggeration, exaggeration means uh, to like speak more, uh, speak in a uh, like if I exaggerate you means what what you are. I am telling more uh, about yourself. That is exaggeration, and. Uh, Other words uh, we know more or less. Okay, now come to the uh, next paragraph. So turning to the evidence, we would find that far from taking Indian manufacturing to new heights, uh, the performance since 2014 does not match what has been achieved in the last boom in India. So which was obtained during 2003 to 8. So during this period, for the first time in decades, manufacturing had led the growth acceleration in the economy. So in most of these years, annual growth of manufacturing had exceeded in 10%, which has not been matched since. So interestingly, the performance of each sector in the last three years is not superior even to that all at the tail end of United Progressive Alliance. So clearly making India is yet to fulfill its promise. So turning to the evidence, we find out that far from taking Indian manufacturing new heights, the performance since 2014 doesn't match what has been achieved in the last boom in India, which was obtained during 2003 to 8. So uh, if, we, if you see the evidence, you see that there is no economic growth uh, after 2014. But uh, in 2003 to 8, there is a there was a growth uh, which already happened before, like 2003 to 8, but not after 2014. 
So during this period for the past I mean decades, manufacturing had led the growth acceleration in the economy. So in most of the three years, annual growth of manufacturing had exceeded 10%, which has not been matched since. Interestingly, the performance of this sector in the last three years is not superior to that at the tail end of United Progressive Alliance. So clearly making India easier to fulfill its promise. So in making India project, uh, this venture could not make its promise because there is no economic growth and they could not uh, fulfill it also. Okay, now, could it uh, be the, that the program has actually had a favorable impact, but the fruits are yet to appear? Now, it can, can it be happen like the program has had a favorable impact, but the fruits are not there yet? This is possible and would be the case if the program has led to a surge in investment. But there is no evidence of this either. So if we take a wider measure of investment that for the economy as a whole, we see that capital formation as a share of total output has declined even more sharply since 2014 than it had been since the decline began in 2011. So private investment seen as the bellwether of an economy has not been forthcoming despite this government business friendly orientation. So as the decline in investment has commenced in 2011. So if we take a wider measure of investment, if we take a wider look that for the economy as a whole, we see that the capital formation as a share of total uh, output has declined even more sharply since 2014 than it had been since the decline began in 2011. So private investment seen as a bill weather of an economy has not been forthcoming despite this government's business friendly orientation. So as the decline uh, in investment had commenced in 2011, the, the development itself cannot be laid at the present government's door, but it is unambiguously the case that it has uh, not been able to re reverse it. So part of the reason has to do with the fact that the focus of Make in India, such as uh, the ease of doing business has mostly been on the supply side. So, but there is demand to reckon with. Firms invest in anticipation of demand. And when they perceive slow growth of demand, they are likely to hold back. Okay, brother. So it is clear that some part of the slow growth demand in India is beyond the grasp of government due to the weather cycle. So it is clear that some part of the slow growth of demand in India is beyond the grasp of government, which government is unable to control due to the weather cycle. So two of the past three years have been years of very poor agricultural GDP growth with the figure actually negative in 
So in 2014-15, uh, like there is very poor agricultural growth that is negative. But agriculture's performance cuts both ways, serving also as windfall when it turns out to beyond. Thus, for 2016-17, the Central Statistics Office's advanced estimates indicate a more than three-fold increase in agricultural growth while industry and services register reduction in theirs. So had agricultural growth uh, not risen so dramatically, growth in 2016-17 would have slowed even more than it actually did. The government just got lucky. So whatever may have been the demand constraining impact of slow agricultural growth in the past two years of this uh, government's tenure, the independent role of its uh, macroeconomic policies evident. So whatever may have been the demand constraining impact of slow agricultural growth in the first two years of government's tenure, the independent role of its macroeconomic policies evident so at the time of declining private investment, the prudent thing for a government to do is to uh, raise public investment. This has not uh, happened on anything like the scale necessary. So in need with rigor to fiscal policy, the government had been guided by fiscal consolidation decline in terms to deficit reduction. So admittedly in this, uh, the National uh, Democratic Alliance has only taken forward a program initiated by UPA1, but the slowing of capital formation was not a feature then. And economic policy is meant to respond to a changing environment. So in 2016-17, gross fixed capital formation in the economic turn negative. This wording development requires addressing, but having tied itself down to a dogmatic policy stance. The government can do little. The centerpieces of this policy package are fiscal consolidation and inflation targeting. This combination leaves no room to address concerns of growth the government's response to suggestions that it respond uh, to the situation is that it will sidetrack fiscal consolidation. So actually no one is asking it to, it is possible to adhere to fiscal deficit targets while explaining expanding public capital. So you do this by switching expenditure from consumption to investment. Okay, this is a long passage. So if you try to understand everything it will take a long time. You can see that it's almost 25 minutes we have taken because we are trying to understand everything. So when you practice at home, you have to understand, you try to understand everything, every word, whatever you don't know. But when you are in the exam hall, don't try to understand everything. If, uh, just uh, look at the question. If you see, uh, get the answer, just answer that. So there are some words. Fiscal deficit expenditure Inflation, prudent,
There is a full form United Progressive Alliance in K2. So these are some uh, important full forms and these are there are some terms which you need to know uh, while you are practicing at home. Unambiguously, uh, unambiguously means uh, when you are very clear, you have not any ambiguous uh, motto. Unambiguous means not open to more than one interpretation. Okay. Prudent means acting with uh, or showing care and thought for the future. Fiscal means uh, relating to government revenue, especially taxes. Deficit means uh, when shortage, scarcity, poverty, all this thing. So now if we come to the uh, first question, during this period for the past 10 years, manufacturing has not led the growth acceleration of the economy. So there are three options. Manufacturing was to be the key and making the government's program to actualize it. What do you think? Uh, I think one and two are correct. How much annual growth of manufacturing exceeded? How much annual growth of manufacturing exceeded? 10%. Agricultural. Uh, why the growth of demand uh, in India slow due to the weather cycle? Which of the statement is true? Read it. Two thousand fourteen fifteen negative in two thousand fourteen fifteen. The center piece of this policy package is a. Prudent opposite is careless, exaggerated, overstated. So this way you have to do it. You have to first read the passage and just come to the question answer part and uh, solve the question answer part. So this way you have to do it. Do you have any question? Any query? This was a very good passage from the newspaper. Okay, so uh, we'll conclude the session here as you have done query. Thank you for your attention.